I hope you can um, I hope you can see me there. Uh, welcome to uh, Outer Harbour. I've come to photograph this little wreck. A um, couple of reasons, really. One, I can't sleep. Two, um, I've had a few questions about uh, the twilights that I usually photograph. So I'm here very early, um, almost two hours before sunrise, and I'm here to photograph astronomical twilight. So I better get on, and um, I'll talk to you uh, in a moment once I've set up. So... We're quite lucky this morning in that I'm silhouetted against this uh, uh, little um, little wreck that you can see out there. It might actually be easier if I if I get some touch of light on it. Possibly, you might be able to see it just a little better. Um, but either way, um, this is what we're going to photograph. Uh, today. So I've focused as you've just seen on that wreck itself. I'm going to switch all the lights off. I'm going to turn on to uh, manual uh, because at this early in the morning I'm just going to put my ISO down to 100. I'm going to move from F16 to around F11 and I'm going to increase my shutter speed keeping an eye on my histogram and I'm thinking anything from 8 to 15 16 minutes I'm going to go for 8 minutes uh, I think that that will probably do us around about the best uh, I usually go for 8 minutes in um, in um, nautical twilight this is astro astronomical twilight which is the sun's about 18 degrees below the horizon that we can see there and uh, yeah it's around about two hours to um, two hours to uh, sunrise I'm just going to take three or four shots of the three twilights and then uh, and then we'll all know what we're what we can expect at different times during the morning. So I'm going to switch this light off because uh, I'm going to need no light just for the time being. I'm up at eight minutes and I'm going to, at F11, focused on that wreck, I'm going to go for it. We've got uh, about 10 minutes or so uh, before the beginning of um, my favourite period to uh, shoot, which is uh, nautical twilight. Um, so astronomical twilight, as I said, uh, which we've just shot, is uh, the official end to uh, night time, the official end tonight. And you can see some of the faintest stars uh, starting to appear around that time and generally uh, you have to be careful for star trails because I'm doing it, I just did an eight minute exposure then those star trails are quite apparent uh, but I'm shooting into the sun so any of those light uh, or, or quite uh, bright stars that are out there are usually masked by that glow that's on the horizon so I don't usually have to worry about that. So yeah, so we're into nautical twilight, which is my favourite, favourite part of the morning uh, now. Um, the sky's brighter and the colours are very saturated. Um, so I'm just going to run with this now. As I said, I've put a uh, 1.2 soft ground in just to tame that sky a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, we can, uh, we can go from there. So I'm going to switch your light off again because we don't want you on the scene. Wow. 
like so and we're going to give it four minutes exactly the same composition and there we go generally is that if I'm in astronomical uh, twilight uh, then I often go to f11 and 8 minutes if I'm in nautical twilight as I am now I pull it down to f16 and around sometimes 8 minutes depends how early it is sometimes 4 minutes uh, I determine the difference I, I just keep an eye on the histogram if there's plenty of cloud about I'll go 8 minutes if it, if it like today as you can see behind me there is some nice cloud, but it's nowhere near filling that sky. Um, so four minutes, I think, is probably prudent. And as we get into from nautical twilight, which we're in now, um, towards civil twilight, um, then uh, it's, at, it's at that point that your camera metering is usually a bit accurate, a bit more accurate. So we'll, we'll be okay from that point on. I know I said I was going to stay <laughs> in one spot, um, but I feel that this is a, a nicer uh, composition. I just couldn't resist jumping down a little lower. We'll just uh, make sure that we are nicely in focus, nicely balanced. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that boat slightly to the left, and so we are now um, almost getting to the blue hour. You can see that the uh, saturated colours have now fading, although the camera will still pick that up. I'm gonna go for a a 60 second shot here with the um, 32 to 64 I've got on. Mosquitoes are now out in force. The little swines. Uh, okay, so that's our 23 on. Just using the polarizer to take away that glare a little bit. I think we'll shift our composition slightly. There's some nice red clouds just catching that you can see there so I've shifted my composition slightly to get above this little ship a little touch um, there's some nice color uh, I think this will be 16 by 9 and that's giving us a four seconds what are we gonna pull it down to let's have a little think It'll probably go down to about a second and a half. So, if I put a six stop on, that should give us around about a minute and a half. But the sun's rising quite quickly. You can see we're well into blue hour now. Um, so I think I think I'll do it for a minute with a six stop on. Six stop. 
goes in. You can see it's gone quite dark. So let's raise our ISO up a minute or a minute or two. Now I think if I want the two minutes, I'll, I'll go for it at F16. And there we go. So again, play by feel this one. Six stop on. Uh, 1.2 soft grad to pull in some of that sky. everybody thank you very much for joining me here today i've had a wonderful time i hope if you take anything away then you know at least you'll be able to see uh what you can what you can get and it wasn't a particularly great sunrise today but what you can get at the three twilights astronomical nautical and and uh and civil and maybe get out there have a play i'd love to see what you can come up with yourself so until next time all it needs me to say is please look after yourself look after your loved ones and See you next time. Bye.